All right, y'all, man, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications, man. We are doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Right, before we end today's video, man, this will be one helpful thing you guys are gonna need. Make sure you go to your um your settings or the network, and make sure you hover over the um the connect to um internet tab. Don't click it; just hover over it and then double tap your PlayStation button. But in this, this video right here, I'm showing you guys how to do animation glitch the the simplest way that a lot of people like taking all their time to um show you guys. I'm just gonna show you a simpler way to do it. First thing you wanna do is, man. Make a new player. This is gonna be the best way to do it. Make a new player. You wanna make a playmaking slash a driving and finishing slasher. A driving and finishing playmaker. So driving and finishing first, playmaking the second there. You wanna make him six four. That means he's gonna get eighty six bucks, so you better unlock all the drift moves and he'll also be able to unlock all the dunks that you guys will want. And I'm gonna show you guys an example of the player that I made right here once we, once all this slow ass load up. But yeah, you want to make a um, driving and finishing primary, playmaking and ball handling secondary. You see, he's a 65 overall because I upgraded him just enough to get him. You have to have, you have to be a 65 overall to unlock the actual drip moves, and then you have to have a 75 ball control and an 85 dunk in order to get the things that I did, the things that I went in this video for. So you see, I upgraded him just enough to get everything that I wanted. So, with that being said, I did I did go back later on and like up and max out his dunks. So it was, it was like some other dunks that I had. One you see in the video that I had um what I'm gonna get and it required an 85 driving dunk. But when you um get that, you be able to move on with the next step, which is just going to the player lab with this player right here. You go inside the player lab. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. I think I'm coming down with a cold. I'm not sure, but you want to go once this load up. You just want to go to um. Don't go to buy animations. You ain't bought none yet. So you just need to go to equip. You need to go to signature animations. Once you go in there, <clears throat> once you go in the signature animations, man, you just want to load up the gameplay moves. So when you go to gameplay moves, you see you only need shots. You want to get drill moves. I'm gonna show you guys examples of everything that I've done. I've tested this plenty of times, and I tested it before I actually made this video so it's still working as of now it is still working you see i got the um the alley you the park alley oops in my cart now back to that the first thing once you hit triangle you hit at this point when you get everything in the car you hit triangle and you go to the purchase vc thing once you get here and you're ready to purchase you hit it and then once you hit it you hit, double tap your playstation button disconnect and reconnect you take a little second it's like two it's like one to five seconds it varies you just it's time and it's key and then once you're ready you click back online to reconnect to the internet and we playstation is going to give you error code and 2k is going to give you error code that's how you know that's one sign that you know you did it right if playstation doesn't give you error code you got a 50 50 chance of you still getting it because i have got it with not getting the error code from um from playstation now all you want to do is load up to the player that you're going to be Applying these animations, I don't know what my goofy ass was doing right here, but uh, <laughs> you just gonna load up, load onto the play with me. I loaded onto my center, man. I did all this shit on my center, honestly, because I'm, I'm really, I was gonna do the attribute glitch, but it really is okay. The attribute glitch, I'm gonna go ahead and explain this now. Why this is loading up? Attribute glitch will reset your player, but as long as you have your player saved in the cloud, so you have it saved online storage, your player will be right back. As soon as you like turn off your game, your play. Your player, whatever overall he was, say my player right now, 92, he will be back as soon as you turn your game off. So, as soon as you turn your game back on. So it's not a permanent thing. It's just a temporary thing. As long as you're on the game, that player will remain. With Say you put the three-point shooting all the way up. You glitch it from one player to, to your other player. It will remain on that player, but your player will be reset to like a 67 to a 70. But as soon as you close the app and turn your game off and you turn it back on, your player will be back to his original overall with his original attributes now once you load up don't go to the, don't go to the player lab like you did before you see i'm going 
Tony Hawk down to the um to the kiosk. I've tried this with the Gatorade. I tried it on a different player with the Gatorade. I tried to go to the swag shop. I tried to go to Foot Locker. It doesn't seem to work. Either I did it wrong or it just doesn't seem to work unless you go to the kiosk. So I'm going to say go to the kiosk and you guys know you got to be at 80 overall to buy shirts. You want to go down to buy a shirt. And this, here's the real key thing you know you did it right. If you look down, it says in the cart. I have three things in the cart already. So all you have to do is, you don't really, I don't think you really have to do it, but click on the shirt, any shirt, and then you go in, you see I have the animations right here. You can take that shirt out if you don't want it. And then you just simply buy the animations, man. And... That's pretty much the glitch right there, but in the later video, I mean, later on in the video, I'm going to show you guys all the things I done done. I done done the glitch like 10 times to get several different things on my center. I got like, I got some different dribble moves on here. I got, I made, mainly went for some behind the backs. I got some different behind the backs on there. I got the rest of the contact dunks on there. I got the, um, I got a, um, I got, what is it, Elite? Elite 3? I got Elite 3 on him now. And you're going to see in this video, I'm, I'm just going to the, um, to the player lab now. And equip these animations that I just bought. It sometimes it will equip it for you if you don't have anything in that slot. I've seen that. I've seen it. Sometimes it doesn't, but more, nine times out of ten, it's gonna already equip the things that you had bought with the glitch. So you see here, I'm going. See, you see, it already had two of them on there. It just didn't have the third one on there. So you just go in there and equip the animation. Man, you see them park, them park alley oops is cold. Them this is cold, G. Them things is real nice. I like those. But you see right here, I got the um, Kobe Bryant dunk. I can't get that with my center. I bought that because it mostly had Kobe Bryant dunk package has like the best baseline reverse dunks on the game. You see, I got all the contact dunks now. Well, except for one. I don't have number one. I'm probably going to do it again to get that one. <laughs> I'm going to have all the contact dunks on my guy. You see, I got the, I got the crossover. You see, I got the behind the backs. I bought another behind the back again just to test it to make sure I'm uploading the glitch that was already patched. So, like I said, this glitch is still working right now. So, I would advise you guys, if you want to do it, do it, man. It's, do it. Just do it. Just go. I know you guys want to have certain things on certain players that you can't get because 2K doesn't allow you to get it. So, this glitch is really helpful, man. This glitch is really helpful. It's kind of harmless. The attribute glitch is kind of harmless, too, which you, it resets your player, but... It resets your players once you quit. Um, it resets your player once you turn your game off and turn your game back on. You back to the original um, overall. But uh, make sure you leave a like, man, and make sure you subscribe if you're new, man. I'm out.